Amen. Amen. Thank you. There, is, there are some people today who just debate and argue about everything, aren't there? They just debate, they just debate everything. They, they argue whether, whether Ford is Betty or better or Chevy. Right? And it, it depends. It depends if you're looking for a car or you're looking for a truck. It doesn't matter. I mean, everybody knows that Dodge has the best. But, um, you know, there's Coke and Pepsi. Everybody's got a question over Coke and Pepsi. Giants or Cowboys, you know, has that argument going on. Patriots against, doesn't matter. They're always the best. Um, Republican versus Democrat that's always out there as well. NASCAR versus Indy. There's always debates back and forth of everything we do. Now, if you're asking Brother Ed, I'll tell you where Brother Ed stands on all these issues, all right? Ed stands on Ford. He stands on Pepsi. And I don't know why, but he goes for the Browns. I don't know why. I don't exactly know why. He's, over, he's a diehard Indians fan. And then he's, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he, he likes more NASCAR than Indy. I don't understand all why, but that's what he's all about, Formula One. But, you know, he doesn't like the Formula One. But there are some people all day who analyze, who, who they do nothing but analyze the uh, philosophy and political pat platforms of leaders. They're always on TV. You see them on Fox News, CNN, you know, a, um, and MSNBC, whatever it is. They sit, all they do is talk. That's all they do all day is just talk about their ideas and their philosophies. Um, they just talk about what they think is going to happen next, or what Trump should have done, or what Clinton didn't do, or what Obama said, you know, what, da 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 always just yeah. one thing after another. There are people who follow creed and ceremony. There's people who, they follow after what they believe and what they, you know, they're, they're what they, saying what they believe and how they do things. There, there are wars that are waged on differences of religion, <coughs> denominations, religious practices and affiliation. There's war nonstop. We're always going to have war. It's just going to be. Um, you know, the Bible says from whence comes wars and rumors of wars that come from what? Our flesh. They come from our lust. It comes from our greed. Can I tell you, there's nothing more evident in revealing, there's nothing more evident in revealing the truth in what, than what is already given, and that's the word of God. My interpretation of scripture doesn't change. This is why it's so important for us when we talk to people, when we talk to people, to have the Bible. And not just memorize the Bible, but to have a Bible present. I was door knocking recently, and a man went to the door, and he just had a track. And he, he, he witnessed someone out of a track. Look, we have a more sure word of prophecy than just being, and it is the word of God in the track, but we have a Bible. If you've got to use your Bible, show them from the word of God. It's not your ideas. It's not cut and pasted what we want. It's all from the word of God. But the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter number four, go there if you will. You're, you're right there, one page over. So go to um, a couple pages, if you're, depending on how your Bible's laid out. But Hebrews chapter number 4, verse 12, the Bible says we have something that's just plain better. And that's the title of today's sermon, it's just plain better. There are things that are just, it's not what I'm better than you are, what you're better than me, or anything. It's just the Bible is just plain better. The things of God are just plain better. Amen? And we're going to look at that idea today. It says here in Hebrews chapter number 4 and verse number 12, For the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, Amen. piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is the discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. There is neither any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened into the eyes of him with whom we have to do. There is no blind justice with God. God sees everything that we do. God knows all that goes on. And we're not bound. God is not going to be taken by surprise. We don't have an impartial judge. We don't have a partial judge. We have an impartial judge. He judges us according to the word of God. Aren't you glad for that? It's not by my whims or your whims or what one person views about God or the other person views. People think that, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a Christian God and there's a, that there's a Christian God and there's a Muslim God. Let me tell you something. There's only one true God, and that's the God of the Bible. Yeah. That's the God of heaven. That's my God that I serve. There's only one true God. I'm glad today that God, was, that God has made his word available in the English language. I'm glad that we hold a copy of his, holy, of his holy word in our hands today. I'm glad I don't have to go to some college or university to learn a foreign dead language to try and understand it. I'm glad I've got the word of God in English today. I don't have to go to the Greek and Hebrew to understand what God is saying today. I was talking to someone recently, and they're like, well, the Greek and Hebrew, it says this. And I'm like, you don't even read Greek and Hebrew. You can barely speak English. Well, i got a strong concordance. I'm like, that's not, not the same thing. I'm glad I don't have to go to some dead language and try transposing it to some 
to some, you know, some other language and try to compare it against each other. I'm glad I have some of what God has for me today. I'm glad I have a God who says, I'm going to judge you according to the Word of God, and I'm going to give you the Word of God to be judged out by. Amen. God gives us an open book test. He wants us to have the Word of God. Right. He wants us to have it. If you're here today and you don't have the Word of God, let me know, and I will get you a copy Amen. of the Word of God. Amen. We all have to have the Word of God. We ought to be reading the Word of God. We ought to be hearing the Word of God. We ought to be about the Word of God. Because it's, that's how we're going to be judged accordingly. We ought to talk to each other out of the Word of God. We ought to share things from the Word of God. The Word of God is our textbook. It's our manual. It's our FOP. It's our rule book. It's our guidebook. It's our book. Uh, it's a book we can go to when we're, when we're for leisure. It's a place where we go for a law, for what God wants from us. The Word of God is our truth, is our source for truth. 